When snow starts falling in Superior, it is George Kuffner's cue to get to work. It's not unusual to see him and his dad plowing the streets in their hometown. Neighbor's house, neighbor's house right there, and my uncle's house. The Kuffners are legendary here for helping keep the streets open and safe during the worst of times. What is not usual is doing it with just one plow. You know what goes through my mind right now is that there's a lot of people that are affected by this and you know I'm just giving back to my community. Nearly all of the family's snow plow fleet was burned, destroyed in the Marshall Fire. This is 4218 that came out of the city of Boulder. Scarred steel skeletons. 4216 and behind me is 4219. Eight of them now hardly recognizable. What goes through your mind when you see all this? Uh -huh. A lot, of, a lot of tears and, and uh, heartbreak. I look at, at these trucks and this is heartbreak. It's heartbreaking to see these trucks like this and this kind of condition. This is these are tools, how we make a living. Today's snow is one of the few since the fire and the Kuffners are back at it, not giving up hope. The best thing that I was taught and raised to do is just put your head down and, and grit through it and just go back to work. Two of their plows are still working. The Kuffners behind the wheel driven by resiliency and faith. Bless the good Lord, you know, I still have a job and we have a roof over our head. Whatever it takes, they say, to keep going, keep the streets open. For community, we got to stick together through this. The town's people moving. It's hard times don't last, but tough people do. Even after this family lost nearly everything themselves.